Hey everybody, happy Thursday. First, I will address why I have a band-aid on my face. Last Friday, I had seen a spot that hadn't been wanting to go away for about a month. And he just froze it off. You know, it's like the beginnings of skin cancer or something. I've had one before. And um, so that's why I got the band-aid on. I got a different type of video today. So when my son's in school, I usually, if he has a long day of classes, I usually go to the public library. And I like to sit down and get some books and write recipes down. And I said, maybe I should start taking pictures of the books, you know, because they're interesting, um, like I did. Uh, they had a Golden Girls cookbook this week. And it was mostly just cheesecake. They had, I like to get the ones with movies and TVs, uh, shows. So they had Parts and Recreation. They had the Supernatural series cookbook. They have True Blood. I've looked through, um, Doctor Who. Um, the best one I thought was, um, John Wayne cookbook. Um, so that way when I sit down, I don't have to take all these books home and then, you know, you're just writing down one or two recipes and you can check out other books I can read in the car. It wouldn't be a video without me yawning. Okay, so this book was in the news section and it's called, But Have You Read the Book? So I, all these movies are based off the books. Um, it was by the Turner Classic Movies. Um, there's 52 uh, books they made into movies in here. And a big movie buff that I am, I cannot believe there's so many classics that I haven't watched. So um, I'm going to go through it real quick and tell you the ones I have seen and the ones I haven't seen. And I know you're going to go, oh, she hasn't never seen that movie because my friend Scott, Techno Hillbilly, Still can't believe I haven't watched It's a Wonderful Life. And I think I haven't never watched White Christmas, too. So, um, these movies start from 1931 and they go to 2021. So, the first one was Frankenstein. I remember watching that as a kid. You know, I don't think I've ever rewatched it. Um, I've seen Psycho. Um, there's a lot I hadn't seen so I have to go down this list I've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory The Godfather, Jaws The Color Purple, The Princess Bride Goodfellas Silence of the Lambs Jurassic Park, Clueless Fight Club Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring No Country for Old Men Social Network, The Hunger Games, The Great Gatsby. Of, I've watched the one from 2013 with Leo DiCaprio. That's the one they're talking about. Um, Little Women 2019. And that's the only ones I've seen that's in this book. Now, these are the ones I have not seen. And I did write them all down. So, you know, I can go on Netflix or on the streaming channels to see if they're on. I'll watch them a little bit at a time. One of these that I haven't seen, I've even bought the DVD and still haven't watched it. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of them that I haven't seen. Um, the Thin Man from 1934. Um, I hope I'm saying this right. Where, where, are then, where We Uthering Heights? That's from 1939. Rebecca from 1940. To Have and Have Not, 1944. Mildred Pierce from 45, The Gentlemen Prefer Blondes from 53, Kiss Me Deadly from 55, Invasions of the Body Snatchers 56. I don't think I'd want to watch that. I do like some sci-fi movies, but I don't think I like that because I read some of it. I didn't try to read the descriptions of the book and movie um, that I thought I'd want to watch. Dr. No, that's another one, you know, from 62 that I don't think I'd watch because that's like a James Bond. I'm not a big James Bond fan. To Kill a Mockingbird, 1962. The Honing from 63. 
In Cold Blood from 67. Valley of Dolls from 67. And I know this is going to be a shocker, but I've never seen Rosemary's Baby from 1968. Um, a Clockwork Orange from 71. The Last Picture Show from 71. Uh, the One That Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest from 75. That's the one I thought. I'm always, I always love movies that deal with mental illness. It just um, interests me. Uh, the Shining, I know. I've never seen it from 1980. But I have seen the newer ones. Um, Blade Runner from 82. Uh, the Age of Innocence. These are going into the 90s and the 2000s. Um, the Joy Luck Club. The Remains of the Day. Devil in a Blue Dress. The Virgin Suit. I'm not going to say that word because it may get me blocked. Cruel Intentions, The Talented Mr. Ripley, Children of Men, um, Coraline, Call Me by, my, by Your Name, Crazy Rich Asians, If Bethel Street Could Talk, Dune, and Passing. So those are all the ones in here that I've never seen or read the book. Um, so I thought that was neat that, you know, I had me a little list I can watch but this is the book in case you want to go to your library or you want to read it um i did i did like it because it did tell you like if they made um sequels like i think some of them they took and made netflix series out of them or things like that so i thought that was interesting maybe i'll start doing a little slideshow of the books that um I write things down in two books that I did bring home I brought this one with me and I try not to take but three let's see I'm trying to get them this one was good this was um, South Carolina hometown cookbook and it featured like festivals it has like uh, South Carolina festivals in the back by the counties and by the months um, it also uh, gave recipes or I hate that I yawn so much um, I think I copied about four or five recipes out of this so that was good usually I don't copy but one or two out of a cookbook that's why I got tired of taking them home because I was like man so this one was very interesting too it's a guidebook of South Carolina historical markers and um, it breaks it down by the counties now, I'm in Greenwood County, and the county next to me is Abbeville. And it was very interesting reading about Abbeville. Apparently, there was a lot of Cherokees here, um, and they did a lot of fighting in Abbeville. Um, and in my county, there is a town called 96, and I believe it was made, named 96 because it was 96 miles from something, um, you know. But they have something called Star Fort there. There was a fort they built, and they they fought off the British. And apparently Cherokee were here too. But that that was neat um, to learn that. Um, but I didn't look up a whole lot. Uh, I'll, I'll probably read it a little bit more before I take it back next week. But, um, a lot of it has, like, churches, you know, the historical churches, and it seems like that a lot of Irish people came to this area. So, these were the three books I took home, and, um, they were having trouble with their air, because I noticed it was warm in there when I was, it's two, our library is two stories, and I, the stuff I like to read is up top. And, um, so I think they're getting that fixed. So, I'll go back next week and do some more. But, I will have an update video probably Saturday. Saturday's my one month anniversary from my surgery. And, I'm bad about selfies, but I have tried to take a picture each week to try to show the progress of my weight loss. So, I may do a slideshow or something like that to show you. So, that's all I have. And, I just thought I'd do something different today. And, um... Hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.